Hey everybody, JORC back with another video. And today we're going to take a look at my newest purchase. Now you read in the title, I rolled the dice and I bought a used RC on eBay. It just showed up today. I haven't looked yet. I figured I'd open it up and we take a look together. So let's cut it open, see what we got. Now, I didn't get a great deal on this. I paid a fair price, but the seller says it's in great condition. And if it is, I'll be very happy with this purchase because this is something I really want to have. All right, get this open, cut this, cut this. Oh, and of course, we're upside down. But you know what? Too late now. All right. Let's get that paper out of the way. Oh, it's still upside down. There we go. A version one phaser. Now, those of you that have been watching my channel know that I've got a rally project going on with the MK2 phaser. But this is the car that came out before it. This is no longer in production, but there are tons of parts for these floating around. These are a lot of fun still, and uh, there are a couple of them that pop up on eBay once in a while, and sometimes there's a good deal to be had. There's also an extra reason I wanted this one. So let's take a look at exactly what's in the box. The seller says that this is in great condition and includes everything it did when it was sold. So the transmitter, the battery, the charger, the car, the body, everything you would get if you bought this new. All right. Okay. Let's see. Got the instruction manual. That's exciting. All right, we got some packing material. And we have the car. All right, so far it looks exactly like it should. Let's see, yeah, that's actually pretty good on camera. So, obviously, the reason I wanted this is because it's a rally car. This is the Subaru, um, you know, WRX, STI, I don't know. It's a rally car. It's a Subaru. It's a Kyosho. Let's see if we can get it out of its cardboard packaging here. Wow. You really took the time to package this up like it was new. That's pretty cool. Got zip ties. And there we go. All right. Boom. There she is. She is looking pretty good. I gotta say, the seller was telling the truth. This. Doesn't look like it was used a whole lot. It's a little bit of dust on the back, but... Oh, wow. All right, let's get rid of these zip ties. A little bit of dirt. But, yeah, wow. The bottom of that doesn't really look like it was used at all. There's a couple of light scuffs, but... Wow. All right, before we take the lid off, let's see if the rest of the items are in the box. Oh, okay. This is paperwork from A Main Hobbies. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show this because it, his, it has his information on it. It's got, yeah, it's got all of his information on it. But I can tell you that, let's see, does it have a date? Yep, he ordered this car in May of 2013, 
and paid a total of $203.24 for it at A Main Hobbies. And this is back when A Main had their old logo. That's cool. <clears throat> we'll leave that in the box for now. Uh, we have two more, I guess, supplemental manuals. This looks like the one that goes with this car. The Subaru WR Concept. I don't know. I honestly don't know much about Subarus. Let's see. We've got, oh, the factory tools, which are still in the bag. All right. Got some shock collars that, again, are still in the bag. An antenna tube that's never been used. We have... Oh boy, here's our charger. Five hour NICAD quick charger. Uh, I don't know much about, uh, about using that. That's probably not worth much to me. Nor is this battery. But okay. So we got the tools, we got the shock collars, we got our battery, this lovely charger, antenna tube, and we've got our radio. All right. And this, again, is in fantastic condition. This was not used much. It's got nice foam on it. It's not a bad controller, especially considering it's seven or eight years old. Huh. Okay. The car. Let's pop the clips off and see what it looks like on the inside. But, I mean, so far I'm pretty, pretty impressed, so I hope to see good things in here. All right. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of dirt, so it was doing some rallying at one point, but I guess you can't fault him for that. You know, otherwise it's pretty clean looking. A little dusty, but otherwise it's pretty good. Huh. That thing flopping around in there. like, yep, stock electronics. The tires and wheels are in great shape, and that's good for me because I wanted them. These tires and wheels and this body are going to go on my Phaser MK2 rally build. And I'm not really sure what's going to go on uh, this chassis or what's going to happen to it. It's just another one for the collection for now. see. I mean, there's not a whole lot of metal on these cars to rust, so there's no rust or oxidation or anything. Just a little bit of dust from, looks like, playing around in the baseball field or something like that. Hmm. All right. Well, so far so good. I'm going to charge up the battery real quick, and then we'll plug it in and see if it turns on. Here we are, guys. We're pumping some much-needed electrical lifeblood into that 2,000 milliamp hour NICAD beauty, which, upon further inspection, is a Radio Shack brand battery. Radio Shack, your RC headquarters. Not anymore, Radio Shack. Not anymore. All right, and here we are, guys. We charged up that lovely Radio Shack battery. I only charged it for a few minutes. We're just seeing if it works. That's, uh, we're not going to hang on to that. But we've got our transmitter here. Luckily, 
He even left some batteries in there. So, let's, uh, oh Jesus, if I can get that closed. Let's plug this thing in and see what happens. All right. Transmitter on. Battery plugged in. Car on. We've got life. We've got steering. We've got slow steering. Oh boy. We've got forward and we've got reverse. I don't know, that back wheel looks a little wobbly there. I don't know what's going on there, but... Let's see. Well, you know, it works. Can't can't complain. It's doing its job. I'm pretty impressed with this purchase. It really doesn't look like this car was used a whole lot, so I'm happy. I'm not going to get too much into the technical specifications with this car. It's old, it's outdated, and the specs are, you know, irrelevant. It's got like a 27-turn motor. It's got an ESC. It's right there. It's got a... Receiver. There it is. Came with this. Works with this. Nothing too amazing. But just a nice thing to have. I'm really stoked to have these wheels and tires and this body, which, by the way, is in great condition. I mean, there's really, there's a little bit of dust here and there. But, uh, I mean, there's no big gouges. It doesn't look like it took any big hits. You got little little scuff right there are these light buckets oh wow Kyosho's got some kind of hollow light bucket thing going on here I'm not exactly sure it looks like it's a decal inside but there's definitely a clear housing there so maybe this thing can get headlights <laughs> that'd be cool but otherwise I mean it looks great. So this is going to go on my MK2 phaser, and this is going to, you know, look good on my rally car. So are these wheels and tires. And this is, yeah, just kind of a fun purchase. You know, buying a uh, used RC on eBay is something that maybe you only want to do when you've got a little bit of experience or maybe you're willing to just roll the dice if you feel you know that you're mechanically inclined and you can handle it then go for it there you go just a couple of phasers hanging out but you know like I said pretty stoked with this purchase pretty happy with it and uh, yeah I don't know I guess that about wraps it up thanks for tuning in to another JORC video I'll see you guys next time